brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Uh, since then, but we're trying to do the best we can to, to make do. Making do for the past three years without having access to their multi-million dollar auditorium. The traditional arts program teacher at Southern High School, Vince Regis, has created makeshift stages for rehearsals in the school's hallways in order for students to continue to showcase their talents. We've been doing it for several years. Uh, again, uh, it's, it's very difficult because when we hear about how much it's going to cost, of course, me as a little, as a, as a, as a a teacher it's very difficult to to kind of see that there's actually uh, hope to get this fixed because it costs so much more than what uh, I ever can imagine trying to fundraise to do. The main problem, the air conditioned unit is down and there are leaks in the roof. A legislation has been introduced by Senator James Moylan that would provide one million dollars for the repairs and rehabilitation of this facility. This is Bill 269-35. It is still in the early stages as it was introduced on January 10th. Although Regis expresses a little hope for what may come. I'm very excited because there's nowhere in Guam that actually has a, a place like this. This is the best space for, for productions, uh, not just for the students here at Southern High, but for the island community. The goal is to provide a, a pocket academy where students are able to take several classes that deal with performance arts, uh, specifically in Chamorro culture. And the auditorium is not the only issue on these school grounds. As physical education teacher Jill White tells KUAM the air conditioned system in the main gym is also down and this is affecting the students' activities and the teachers' well-being. That aircon has been out more than it's been on in the history of the school. I can't be down there anymore. I just I can't take the heat. Can't take the heat inside and also cannot stand the Olympic-sized pool outside. According to White, it was operable in 1999 for the SPG Games, and since year 2000, it's been down. 20 years later, and the pool's been sitting, filled with dirty rainwater, pipes broken, and the filtration system is completely pirated. I believe it was legal counsel at one point said that it was an attractive nuisance and we had to drain the pool, and so, so here we are. Is there anyone maintaining it at all? Not that we're aware of. White says this area has become hazardous as the gates are broken into and not secured. Is this up to code? That's a good question. I've been here since Southern opened, and we've had our issues since ever since, and it gets old trying to say, hey, we need help, we need this, and it falls on deaf ears. A bill has not been introduced for the repairs of the pool or gymnasium at the home of the Dolphins. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Adriana Cotero. Brought to you by GTA, we start with you.